Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the annual meeting of the American Academy of Neurology in Toronto, Canada. Dr. Michelle Cameron found that multiple sclerosis patients with more severe disease and poor balance confidence were at increased risk for falls. So really, my goal was to understand a little bit more about who falls, who has MS, how many people who have MS fall, and what the correlates of those falls are, particularly with related to their disease severity and their balance and their self-perception of their balance. How were you surprised by your results? I wasn't terribly surprised by my results, which is good. I found that a surprisingly large number of people actually did fall. As you can see up here, 62% of our patients with MS, and this is consecutively chosen patients, they aren't selected for balance abnormalities, 62% of them had fallen in the last year. So that's a lot. So that, that was somewhat surprising. What was not surprising is that the people who fall tend to have worse balance or self-perception of their balance, and they have worse disease, a higher EDSS. What are the clinical implications of your findings? clinical implications are sort of two or threefold. First of all, as neurologists, when I speak to neurologists about falls in MS, most of them say, huh, you know I never ask. Ask. Ask your patients if they fall. Then we can start with interventions. I don't think we have a clear sense of how to intervene right now. Physical therapy is probably the best answer with specific direction towards rehab that addresses balance issues. So I think that's really where we're going. And then the not surprising answer to almost every study, more research is needed. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.